Welcome to day one of the 2017 Mobile Pwn to Own contest. This is our largest Mobile Pwn to Own ever, and we've got researchers from around the world participating and showing off some amazing new bugs. Contests begin with a random drawing for the order, which saw the day start with Tencent Keen Security Lab targeting the Samsung Internet browser on the Samsung Galaxy S8. Unfortunately, the attempt failed as they could not get their exploit chain to work within the allotted time. Next up, 360 Security also attempted to exploit the Samsung Internet Browser on the Samsung Galaxy S8. They succeeded in getting the browser to run their code, then leveraged a privilege escalation in a Samsung application to persist throughout a reboot. The two bugs earned them $70,000 at 11 points towards Master of Pwn. Following that demonstration, Tencent Keen Security Lab returned to target the NFC feature of the Huawei Mate 9 Pro. This attempt also failed to work within the allotted time. Tencent Keem Security Lab bounced back with a successful exploit of the Wi-Fi feature on the Apple iPhone 7. They used a total of four bugs to gain code execution and escalate privileges to have their application persist through a reboot. All they needed us to do was connect their target phone to their Wi-Fi network. Their exploits took care of the rest. The Wi-Fi bug earned them $60,000, and the persistence bonus added another $50,000, bringing the total for this round to $110,000 and 11 Master of Pwn points. And for those wondering, yes, we did update the iOS to 11.1 .1 prior to the contest. The Tencent Teen Security Lab was once again on the clock as they targeted the Safari browser on the Apple iPhone 7. It took them just a few seconds to successfully demonstrate their exploit, which used only two bugs one in the browser, and one in a system service to allow their rogue application to persist through a reboot. As the second finisher in the browser category, they earned only half the cash at $45,000, but still owned the full 13 Master of Pwn points. Richard Zhu, also known as Fluorescence, also targeted the Safari browser on the iPhone 7. His short demo earned him $20,000 and 10 Master of Pwn points. He used a bug in the browser and an out-of-bounds bug in the broker to escape the sandbox and execute code. The short demo earned him $20,000 and 10 Master of Pwn points. Our final entry for day one saw Tencent Keen Security Lab perform a baseband attack on the Huawei Mate 9 Pro. They successfully demonstrated a stack overflow resulting in code execution on the baseband processor. They modified the IMEI, which could cause wide-ranging service disruptions if done in the wild and requires a firmware update to fix the underlying issue. The demonstration earned the team $100,000 and 20 additional Master of Pwn points. This concludes our first day of Mobile Pwn to Own 2017. Tomorrow looks like an action-packed day as well, with contestants targeting browsers on three handsets and another baseband exploit. We'll see you then.